Okay, so a Psycho Tank here again, and now, uh, this is part two of the Netherwing route. Uh, and now I'm going to show you guys the route I take inside of the mine. Now, in the mine is usually your best place to find Netherwing eggs. It is incredible. Um, in an average day, you'll find almost 20 in here, just throughout the course of, you know, coming in here, getting your eggs, uh, waiting, you know, an hour, playing, you know, another character, doing another instance, doing something, uh, and then just coming back every, I don't know, two hours even? Not even, maybe every four hours, you'll still find so many in here, it's ridiculous. Um, I didn't actually mention this in my first video, but what you'll see on my uh, mini-map here is Netherwing eggs. These aren't actually there. This is part of the uh, gatherer add-on, so it just shows me where I've picked them up. It doesn't show it on the big map, but it does show it here, so it is kind of useful. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is the start of the route. So once you come in through the entrance back up there, uh, like once you enter the mines, there is usually maybe one, one to two eggs there, depending on, you know, how lucky you are, I guess, or depending on if anyone's actually uh, looted them in the past little while. So you come through there, take the little thing, you can usually hop off down there around here, check these little uh, caves, I guess. Follow this little path up here. Don't worry about missing out on anything over there. It actually intersects. So you're going to get... See, actually, right now, I can see there's another wing egg right there. Now, I was actually just in here before making the uh, part one of this video. And I went through all this route, and I recorded getting all these eggs, and I got up to about 12 eggs. Now... Eight of those eggs was, you know, I got those just from in here. Six of which from little nodes like that. And the rest... Sorry, I was going to turn that down. And the rest of the eggs I got from killing these guys. Now, depending on your class, this might be easier or harder, uh, as well as your level. You can do this at level 70, because that's... No, for any crusade, that's when it came out for level 70s. Like, it came out for level 60, but you can get... Anyways, okay. So, what you're going to want to do is, if you're going to kite these guys, you have to make sure you do damage to them every once in a while. Best way to do this as a warrior, I find, is just, you know, do thunderclaps as often as you can. They do have, uh, usually about 6, 7k HP, so you're not going to kill them while you're cutting it, that's for sure. The, uh, well actually that guy's kind of fun out. So you bring them up to this little platform up here. This just makes it easier for, uh, leaving. And you go ahead, and you unleash your, oh look at that, see? This is where you get those eggs, through just killing them. So this is why I do this. It's a, uh, really great method to, uh, really optimize the total amount of eggs you're gonna get. Uh, another good tip, actually, for if you're gonna be doing this, make sure you don't have a lot of things in your inventory. Right now, I have three spaces. That's not gonna be enough. So, usually what I'll have to do, I'll have to pick them up, and then... Look at that! That is two eggs! Two netherwing eggs in one pull. And that's not even the most I've ever seen. Uh, one pull, actually, I had up to four. So, make sure you do this, because you could be missing out on, like, a dick load of eggs. It is insane. As well, uh, the Ravager Flesh and the Netherwing Crystals uh, can be used for... Well, not the Ravager Flesh. Ravager Flesh is used in cooking. So if you want to level your cooking, you can always get mats here for that and make Ravager dogs. So that's always a great way to do that. 
but the uh, Netherwing Crystals, you will actually see I have 250 Netherwing Crystals. Now, I don't need 250 Netherwing Crystals, but... You know, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete those now, actually. Because I have a good feeling about today. I am going to hit Exalted today. That's my plan. But what I was going to say about the Netherwing Eggs, or the uh, Netherwing Crystals, is that there is a daily quest which requires you to get 30 of them. Now, by coming in here and killing, you know, just like 10, 20 guys, you're going to get more than 30, because some of them drop 2, some of them only drop 1. Uh, in my experience, you know, you're going to fill up on Netherwing Crystals really, really, really quickly. So it's best that, you know... You make the most of it. Pick maybe... Just loot everyone, because you will get those eggs. As well as the crystals. And a whole bunch of other stuff that you don't even... You don't even think you need, but... Just by vendoring it, you know, you make a bit of a profit. Ravager Flesh, not so much, but that is because you can use it, so it's less of a... Uh, a commodity, more of a uh, material. Now... What I just did, I just backtracked where I came from. I entered from here, went all the way up there, and now I'm coming back down this way. This is just because there are eggs that spawn down here, and there are also eggs that spawn up there. So, it's never good just to go one way and then do another loop. It's always good to go one way, come back, and then go on the other way to uh, make sure you get them all. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys right now. If you're a mage, you can go ahead and frost Nova and then AoE. Or if you're a warlock, you can rain a fire or, you know, any type of AoE attack to uh, kill these guys. And look at that, I had a whole nother, uh, whole nother stack of uh, crystals. So you do get quite a lot. So right now we're on the uh, we're coming up to the end of this route. Uh, pretty soon, this is like the last area they spawn right in here. So if you don't see any there, you're pretty much done. Uh, however, you can get lucky, and you can find eggs that spawn down here, right beside uh, Tyranniku or Taranaku, or however the hell you say his name, or her name, because dragons are crazy like that. So, you will, you will find one around here eventually if you search long enough, but, you know, it's not that big a deal if you don't. Uh, another tip, though, is kill the uh, black blood in here. Um, usually I do skip them, but... If they ever drop their uh, sludge-covered bag or sludge-covered object, whatever it is, um, netherwing eggs do drop from that. It's a very low drop rate, according to Thoughtbot. However, um, uh, in all the uh, experience I've had getting them, I've gotten maybe, I'd say probably three, and I've maybe killed 50 of them. So it's a bit better drop rate than what it says. So especially with the the uh, flares as well. So make sure you make sure you kill everything you can. It will be kind of tedious, but it is definitely worth it. Uh Now I handed in the egg from the last video that I got from the tower, and so that's why my reputation was up a uh, tiny bit there. So with the reputation, you know, that we've gained just from one run, you know, three eggs uh you know, two of those were just from drops, you know, you do find a lot. Okay, just skipped ahead there a tiny bit, just because I didn't want to uh, get a whole bunch of walking in. But, now that we've come in through that uh, smaller way up there, we're going to exit this way up here, because there are eggs that spawn uh, alongside this wall and throughout some of these buckets. So once you're at the end, you know, you're done, you're out. And what you can do is 